This is Iceman Baldy with a quick video update on my secondary and tertiary, I guess my third set of cameras. I say secondary and tertiary because my first camera, my primary camera, is a Canon 60D. <laughs> Now, those of you who know about DSLR cameras with uh, APS-C size sensors know that the 60D is a pretty big camera. It's uh, not that portable when you're traveling. And certainly with the new compact system cameras and here lately, some of the more pocketable cameras like the Canon S100 and the Sony RX100, uh, it's a lot easier to take quite a bit of photography or photographic power with you if you don't want to carry around your uh, your larger DSLR camera. Here you can see I've got four cameras and I'm about to get rid of two. On uh, the right side I've got the cameras that have been faithful servants but that are going to leave me. That includes my Sony NEX 5N that I've not had for too long uh, and has been very good as a nice alternative to a full-size DSLR and my Sony, I'm sorry, my Canon S100 a nice pocketable camera with a, a decent size sensor uh, but not nearly as big as the sensor on its replacement the Sony RX100 and the Sony also includes some other features uh, that beat the Canon like a better focusing ring, it's a little smoother uh, a much brighter LCD uh, uh, viewer on the back and uh, an even larger sensor with some additional speed. The NEX 5N will be replaced by my Sony NEX 7 um, greater megapixel resolution. Uh, uh, um, it's also got uh, an internal flash and uh, electronic viewfinder uh, that's one of the best in the class and it's not significantly bigger than the Sony NEX5. So that's where we stand today in terms of my camera kit, the Sony 5N, the NEX 5N, and the Canon S100 will be uh, on their way to eBay and give way to the Sony NEX7 and the Sony uh, RX100. So it looks like I'm becoming more of a a Sony fan with my portable gear and for the big jobs I'll stick with Canon with the 60D.